Hello, Aries. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oof. You're trying to move on with your life. Yeah, from this relationship. You're trying to be happy, move on. You're not communicating with your soulmate. This is you on the inside. You feel heartbroken. You feel devastated that this relationship is not working out. You're not communicating with them at this time. You feel, this is how you feel. I'm so sorry you're going through so much emotionally. On the outside, you don't want to show that you feel this way. On the outside, uh, you want to uh, show that everything is okay. Yeah. Yeah. You really love this person still. Let's see. This is difficult for you to deal with. You are so strong, Aries. You know, we show us what's coming up for Aries in their life. And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you concentrating on uh, finances, your job, other things, so you don't have to feel the sadness that you've been feeling about this disconnection from them. You're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment that has to do with finances, money, whether it's from investments or you buying something of value. You're going to be happy. You're going to be uh, celebrating some kind of financial windfall. Yeah. Yeah, you're not reaching out to your soulmate, but this is you going within, trying to figure out what you learned from this relationship, whether it's truly over or not. Wow. You really want them back in your life if they would prove themselves to you. Yeah, you really love this person. Major Arcana, number six, lovers. This is you feeling still connected with this person. You miss them a lot, as a matter of fact. This is you missing them, feeling sad. Unexpected communication. So even though you're trying so hard not to communicate with them, uh, something is going to give in. Whether they reach out to you, you reach out to them, you bump into each other. You feel that you've done everything in your power to make that relationship work. You feel that they would have to be this king of pentacles, meaning someone who is consistent in your life, who commits in a healthy way for this relationship to work out. Yes, this is you recognizing your worth, value. Yes, beautiful. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey. Yeah, you want a solid relationship. Yes, because you are a solid person. Yeah, look how fabulous you are. You're showing up as Empress, whether you're male or female. Empress energy is of a very high value. Someone who is uh, capable of committing in a healthy way. Someone who is into monogamy. Yes, beautiful. Someone who is a catch in relationships. You really do miss this person. This is you reminiscing of them, missing them. Yeah, you recognize that you put in so much more work, effort, energy, time into this relationship than they have, you see, and it became unbalanced. You feel tired. You still love this person a lot, though. Let's see what's going on with them. 
Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. That Aries has been dealing with. That Aries is letting go of at this particular time. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries? Especially emotionally. This one wants to show up as extra. Wow, they worried. They feel you are very disappointed. Here you are, Queen of Swords, holding five swords. Like there were some serious disagreements, arguments in this relationship. And they keep dwelling on the things you said. Uh, they worry that you're very guarded emotionally. Yeah, this is them. They have a lot of pride. This person has a lot of pride. They love you a lot. Yeah, they really do. This person loves you a lot. When you add these cups, three and two makes it five of cups, which is what you had at the end of your reading, five of cups. This person is very sad that this relationship is broken up at this particular time. They feel like the two of you are not together at this time. Yeah, they realize that they didn't meet you halfway. So the good sign is that they recognize what needs to be corrected. The question is, will they work on it, right? You know, will they actually address it? You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Ah, this person is trying to figure out what's going on in your mind, what you're thinking, planning, feeling. There's something going on at your job. Yeah, you see this? You feel like you always have to uh, defend yourself, stand up for yourself, look over your shoulder. Uh, some kind of shenanigans going on at your job. And you feel guarded at your job. So it's not the job that's the issue. It's the environment you work in. Your soulmate feels like they need to make a decision soon. You see this? They feel like they need to take some kind of action, make a decision here. Yeah, so they've been waiting on communication from you and they realize they're going to have to reach out to you. This is them trying to be very strong. Ooh, so this is a warning to you. Something is brewing at your job. You need to keep your eyes and ears open. You see Seven of Swords is showing up here. Yeah, this is you needing to, you are uh, very much aware what's going on. You see this? That's why you're so guarded. <sighs> My goodness. Somebody at your job is showing up here in charge. There's something going on. Some kind of plans that you will find out sooner or later. Huh. Yeah, um, your soulmate is missing you. They're trying to figure out if you still love them. This is them trying to figure out how you currently feel towards them, whether it matches what they feel for you. The two of you broke up before and got back together, broke up, got back together. Um, this person sees that no matter how many times the two of you let each other go, they still love you. You see this? Yeah, they really do love you. Yeah, and they sad about when you add these cups, it becomes five of cups. They're very sad about losing this relationship. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Yeah, again, this person knows they're going to have to be very courageous, master the courage to approach you. They have a lot of pride. Yeah, they have a lot of pride. They like to be uh, not seen as emotionally vulnerable on the outside. Yeah, so <clears throat> the, there's something that was said that hurt their feelings and they keep dwelling on it something you said to them but they agree with you yeah this is them uh, looking within to figure out if it's not too late to fix this if they can fix this situation 
and you are important to them because they still love you, obviously. Aries, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about the soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings, new friendships in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.